Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode, you guys. If you guys watch Love After Lockup, you know I'm having these reviews kind of late. I'm sorry, a lot is going on on my end. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put uh, both of these episodes, the episode 11 and episode 12, in one video. So it's going to be less of a recap of 90 Day Fiance, episodes 11 and 12, and more of like a review. Um, because I know I, I did want to give y'all episode 11, but I still wanted to kind of talk about episode 12. Not that much happened, so I was like, girl, let me put this in one video, okay? So, I hope y'all, you know, don't mind that. But anyway, let's get started. This is 90 Day Fiance, season 7, episode 11, Blindsided, okay? We're going to start off with Sinjin and Tanya. <laughs> um, Basically, they went to go uh, speak to a psychic... Um, they made up from their fight the previous episode and um it comes out that basically tanya feels like Sinja's is not her soulmate not her true love she feels like her the first person that she was with was her true love and her soulmate and she tells that to Sinjin. okay and basically she just sees Sinjin as a sperm donor i'm like if we didn't get that from the past couple episodes, she basically told us and she told Sinjin, please, you know, I just want your sperm. That's pretty much it, okay? She just wants to have a baby. Of course, Sinjin is hurt by it. Um, that's pretty much it. He needs a break from filming. So, that's all that happened with this ep this episode between Sinjin and Tanya. Sinjin, run. Please, run. Get. She's telling you how she feels, baby. Please just move and run and get away from this girl, okay? Next, we got Michael and Juliana. Um, Juliana, they're getting ready for their wedding. She, This storyline is kind of confusing because I'm like, I don't really believe that her family didn't want to be a part of her wedding like that. All just because they would be jealous of her, her being with this man and being able to afford things. I'm like, something is up with this storyline. I don't get it. Um, she says she has two friends that are coming to the wedding. That's pretty much it. She's sad her family didn't come. Michael was like, girl, maybe they shouldn't come. I was like, what? What? That's weird. Okay. But anyway, that was pretty much it. Um, then we get to Robert and Annie. Robert's brother, Kenny, comes into the picture. And y'all, he is just like Robert. Like, he feels like he is Robert's keeper. Like, my, my brother's keeper type of thing. He excuses everything that Robert does. He doesn't see a fault with Robert. He is the same type of like, you know, it's not me, it's you attitude with women. You know, it's, and he's extremely rude to Annie. And I'm like, girl, Annie, you don't have to put up with this girl. This is ridiculous, girl. This is ridiculous. Um, If I wasn't team Annie before I am, like, Kenny pushed me to the side because Kenny was rude. Robert was rude. Um so whatever like uh kenny doesn't feel like his brother is cheap i was like okay girl your brother cheap he took it to a, a thrift store the first time <laughs> that to take her shopping and he promised this girl all these things so i was like Phew. uh kenny <laughs> kenny has seven kids y'all seven kids robert has you know five kids y'all it's it's a lot it's a lot kenny says kenny accuses um annie of being a lady of the night y'all okay annie gets upset she walks out robert doesn't go after her because robert <sighs> y'all know y'all know i don't i don't even have to say it y'all know that robert ain't ain't whatever okay so then we get to mike and natalie they dragging this out y'all <laughs> mike is leaving natalie isn't um Natalie is trying to make him feel good, trying to appease him or whatever. Um, he doesn't like it. He's like, girl, please get out of this car. Like, I don't really mess with you like that no more. Like, I'm done, okay? She says that she should have gotten with an older man, an older mature man. She's like, he's like, okay, girl. She wants him to apologize for whatever, and then she'll apologize, and that's what she thinks is going to make everything okay. Um... He gets back home, back to the United States. You know, the uncle tries to help him out. He's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta know when to let this go, baby. This ain't, this ain't for you, okay? But is he gonna listen to his uncle? I don't know, y'all. Then we get to Blake and Jasmine, 
it's the same old stuff with Blake and Jasmine, y'all. Jasmine don't really mess with Blake like that. And she sure don't mess with his friends like that, okay? Because Blake, every five seconds, Blake want to go hang with his friends. And I get it. It's a little aggravating. <laughs> so, so I don't fault Jasmine, like, all the way. Because I'd be like, dang, like, every, you want to do everything with your friends? All right. Like, they y'all just, y'all don't live together. And y'all don't really spend time together. And the time that y'all do want to spend together, you want to spend it with your friends, okay? So that's exactly what happened this, this episode. He wants to go out with this, to dinner with his friends and then to a party. And she's like, girl, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. Let's have dinner, like, by ourselves and then we'll go to the party, okay? He, he, <laughs> he picks out an outfit. She's like, girl, change that. That don't look good. This, it don't look good changed, okay? So, <laughs> she's just, she's very blunt and... I don't think she has feelings for Blake, you know, but she's trying to put up with Blake. But Blake is making it hard, okay? So they go to dinner. He and that drinking or whatever. She don't like that. He, she don't like that he's drinking. Um, they start to argue, and she's like, you know what? I'm not even gonna go to the party with your friends. Don't even worry about it, okay? He gets upset. She leaves to go to her, her sister house, and they just talking about Blake and whatever. All right, girl. That's pretty much it with them. Then we get to Angela and Michael. Um, Angela's still in Nigeria. She wants she wants to get to the bottom of what's going on with this K1 visa situation. Like, you know, like, she goes into their the K1 visa office talking about she got an emergency, y'all. Then people was looking at her like, girl, stop playing. You just want to fill out. You want to know what's going on. It's not no emergency, boo. Okay. So they tell her to come back, fill some paperwork out. They're not going to see her right now. Okay. She she gets outside. Michael is not where he that she wants him to be. She starts bullying Michael as she always does, y'all. Michael is scared that girl, scared that woman. Okay, <laughs> Michael. Okay, uh, Michael wants to buy his mom a microwave. Okay, um, Angela feels like Michael got her down in Nigeria to pay for everything. Okay, and boo boo, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, because you. You, you know what's going on. You know the situation. Stop playing with that. Stop playing with Michael, okay? Anyway, so they get to Mama's house. Mama's happy that she got her new microwave, okay? Um, Angela t Angela's talking about that she doesn't like Nigerian food. So rude, okay? So they have dinner together with his mama. Angela then got some Botox. Mama has to act like she, you know, that she looks good with the Botox. I'm like, all right, y'all. Um uh mama and michael talking about they gonna have to um that angela and michael are gonna have to get married in nigeria if their k1 visa gets denied so angela that's what you're gonna have to do boo lastly we got emily emily and sasha they both don't have no job <laughs> they're getting on betsy nerves um they go to the wedding dress shop betsy is just being betsy betsy don't like none of the situation she don't like sasha but she's trying to be supportive to her sister while gritting her teeth the whole time, okay? So that's all that happened with this episode. See see how fast it was, y'all? Nothing really happened, okay? Um, then we get to the next episode. This is episode 12, okay? Uh, we start off with Mike and Juliana. Their wedding was nice, okay? Sarah officiated. They seem like they're going to be okay. Sarah seems like she's cool as long. She's cool with Juliana, so it makes the situation really good, you know, and the kids are cool with everything. So that's them. Really easy. Got them out the way, y'all. Then we get to um, Angela and Michael. They're still at the mom's house. Michael's brother's also eating with them at the, the dinner table. And he says that he wishes that um, Michael would get somebody in Nigeria and stop playing with Angela, okay? Angela's trying to be nice, and she's like, you know... Do you feel this way, Michael? Michael, or do you feel this way, Michael? Michael, what, Michael? Okay. And he says, no, baby. Like, you know, I got a mind of my own, okay? Like, I don't have to listen to, my, listen to what my brother say. Speaking logic, you know? Stop it. Um, Angela's considering getting married in Nigeria. So we gonna see, okay? <laughs> so that was them. Then we get to Robert and Annie. Robert and got himself a different hairstyle, y'all. I said, okay, Robert. He feels guilty about he how he and his brother treated Annie. So he goes to buy her some twenty dollars shoes. Um they go to dinner. They're supposed to go to this peace dinner with Ben and Stephanie. 
um, Bryson's grandparents. But, and they act like they want peace. You know, Ben is apologizing and whatnot. And then Stephanie pulls out her pocketbook to buy Annie a ticket back home. And Annie's like, you know, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, okay? And she's like, I'll give you, Stephanie's like, I'll give you $15,000. And Annie's like, girl, you sitting up here and you nasty. Because, you know, you know what you do. And you trying to tell me? Like, girl, you know, it's it's a mess. I was with Annie the whole way. Stephanie and Ben, you need to go sit down somewhere. Stop playing with Annie. Um, yeah. <laughs> Paul Bryson, y'all worried about Bryson. Bryson still ain't, ain't got no bed. Paul Bryson, put up, uh, yeah, Bryson, right? This is his kid. The kid's name was Bryson. Bryson ain't still got no bed. Y'all got fifteen thousand dollars to give to Annie, but y'all ain't got no money to give to Bryson in his bed. This is ridiculous. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, I'm team Annie all the way. Stop playing with her. Okay, then we get to Sasha and Emily. Um, they get married, you know. Okay, uh, Betsy is threatening Sasha again. Betsy is being Betsy, her sister. Um, Sasha gets to talk to his mom and he and his son before the wedding. That's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> so, so then we get to Mike and Natalie. Mike is trying, but he's back in America. He's like, he goes to the lawyer. He is trying to get this visa stopped. He's like, look, um, she crazy. Okay. She crazy. He has some time to figure out whether or not he wants to be with her. Um, cause once he stops the visa, that's pretty much it. You know, so Mike, do what you gotta do, boo, cause she she is crazy. Okay, then we get to Sinjin and Tanya. Sinjin, Sinjin, you you need to leave. You need to get out of there. Stop playing with Tanya. Tanya is crazy. Tanya goes wedding dress um shopping. She was in there trying on wedding dresses, y'all. Okay, with her family, she tells the family like what happened with her and Sinjin that she told him that he's not her one true love her her soulmate and they're like oh my god why would you tell that boy that you are crazy okay her sister tries to take off for her but girl y'all know tanya crazy y'all been knew tanya was crazy y'all need to help send him get back to his country please let this man have some peace in his life so he don't have to deal with tanya okay <laughs> run Sinjin, run jasmine and blake okay Jasmine is still tired of Blake. Every episode, she's tired of this man. She calls him an alcoholic. You know, he had, she asked him how many drinks he's had. He's like, girl, I don't know. Okay. Um, she don't, <laughs> she still don't like his friends. Um, her parents come. Her parents seem pretty nice or whatever. It wasn't anything special, y'all. That was them. Okay. <laughs> so, last couple we got, um, Marcel and Anna. Marcel, child. Then went back to um, his country, talking to his family, and his family, you know, his family felt bad for him. He must have been crying on the floor like he was doing with uh, Anna. And they were like, look, okay, go ahead. And if you're going to cry like this, you can go ahead and be back with Anna, okay? So he's like, yay. So he goes back to be with Anna. Uh, well, he's getting ready to come back to be with Anna, and they're about to get married. So Anna has to prepare the kids for them getting married because you, he, you know, it's just, it's it's a roller coaster where her and, and Marcel, probably from the kids' viewpoint, is too much. It's too much. Okay. First they were a secret. Now he's coming back because he wants to be with them, and it's a lot. Okay. And so I get why they're why the oldest is like, girl, this is too much for me. Okay. I get it. I get it. Um, the two younger kids are like, girl, as long as this wedding isn't boring, we're cool with it. So, whatever. Okay, of course the youngest, you know, the youngest is like, I don't care, you know, <laughs> too much. Joey is going to have a hard time with this, so I feel bad for Joey. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel bad for him, y'all. So that was all that happened with this episode, y'all. This These last two episodes were were drawn out y'all they were drawn out okay i just have to be honest what did y'all think did y'all find some enjoyment in these last two episodes uh i love you guys let me know what you thought if, and thought of this in the comments below like i said um yeah it was a lot these two these past episodes trying to keep up uh because it was boring but yeah like the video if you like this subscribe if you're not subscribed and i will see y'all in the next video bye